For those of you that missed this week's episode of the Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what happened. The group has made their way back to the Academy and delivered the supplies to Drisk for the process of beginning to make the cure. Lord Shallowstone and his daughter are going to stay at the Academy as Gwynton has promised that she will be the first to receive the cure. They leave Drisk with them and head to a meeting room to talk with Drusilla. She's pleased to see them all back, but notices the missing Oz. Marzalin explains the situation and produces the deck of many things. He explains that Oz had repeatedly had unexplainable things happen to him and eventually just fell over unconscious. Drusilla takes the deck and warns them that this deck should never have been made as dark magic is unpredictable, but the good news is she knows what has happened to Oz. She tells the group that she can help them, but they will in turn be indebted to her and the Academy. While Justinian and Marzalin quickly agree, Bishop and Gwynton have some reservations and ask for time to discuss and think it over. When she asks where Oz got the deck, Marzalin explains that he made a deal with an entity known as Ifritter. Her eyes go wide again, and she tells them that he is one of the four entities known as the Pillars. If awakened, the four of them may cause great destruction to the world. Before they part ways, Bishop hands Drusilla the next Shadow Spark Chronicle that they found in the mines. Drusilla now has three of the books. The group decides to head home for some much needed reflection and rest. As they return to their home with the new companion Rift and explain that he is not the only protector of Oz, they enter the home and are greeted by Crow, who is not happy that Oz is not with them. After a brief catch up with the rest of their combined family and seeing the more improvements that have been done to their home in their absence, everybody decides to hunker down for the night. Bishop is the first to rise and decides to go walking the streets of Candor's Keep to think about the difficult decision that lays ahead of him. The rest of the group awakens and starts going about their day. Quentin decides to leave the house, but he runs into a courier. Opening the letter from the courier, he notes that it's from Oz, explaining how he feels that he did what he must and hopes that the group will aid him for what he fears is to come. He is going to discover the truth about himself, and it could put him in danger. Gwynton shows the letter to the group still in the house and leaves to run errands. After a brief discussion, Justinian and Marcelin set off towards the academy. Gwynton pays the debt to the alchemist and notices Bishop is wandering the streets. After discussing the letter, they head to the academy, where they meet up with Drusilla and decide that they are going to go forward with their plans. After all have finished their individual tasks, they meet up in the lobby of the Academy. Before leaving, Marceline says he needs to speak with Drusilla alone. She reveals to him the location of Oz's consciousness. Please join us every Monday night for the rest of the Shadow Spark Chronicles. And as always, we'll see you in the dungeon.